Welcome to the Sherpa Driver App video tutorial. Let's begin. Start by downloading the Sherpa Driver App. Make sure you are downloading the Driver App, not the User App. Allow notifications to keep up to date on current job activity as well as jobs near you that you may be interested in. We need you to always allow location services so we can notify you when new jobs are available in your area and track your delivery progress. Log in to the Sherpa Driver app. If you haven't completed the registration process, you will need to do that before you can get started doing deliveries. Once logged in, you will land on a map displaying all open deliveries near you. There are six different types, one hour, two hour, four hour, and same day pins reflect the time frame in which you have to complete each delivery. A run of deliveries are multiple jobs that have been grouped to be completed by one driver. Finally, the 18 plus pin indicates you would be delivering alcohol. If you would prefer, you can view deliveries near you in a list. Each card displays the due in time, the distance, the duration, and the amount you will earn for each job. Tap the card to view more details specific to a delivery. Tap the magnifying glass to get a route overview of the delivery on a map. If you like what you see, feel free to go ahead and accept the delivery. Tap a pin on the map to view the delivery card. Tap the card again to view more details. Remember, you can accept multiple deliveries at once, as long as you are sure you can get them done before their due time. A pin with a number on it, like this one, indicates that there are multiple deliveries that share a pickup location. Again, tap the magnifying glass to view the single delivery pickup and drop off locations on a map. Here we have a run pin. As you can see, there are four jobs, five stops one pickup and four drop-offs. There is a total of four items being delivered in this run. Make sure your vehicle has the capacity for the specified item quantity. Tap the map above to see each stop displayed on the map and their order of completion. Tap the pin to see which suburb the stop is in. The checkered pin marks where the run will end. The suggested route displays a stop-by-stop -stop overview of your current jobs to allow you to complete pickup and drop-offs in the most logical and efficient order. You can view these either in a list or as pins on a map. The numbered pins reveal the order of completion and the checkered pins show the final stop on the route. The pink navigate button will always direct you to the next stop on the route. Tap the card to view more details about each stop. The first time you tap the nav button, you'll be prompted to choose your default external maps application to use for all Sherpa navigation. Once you've arrived at the pickup location, return to the Sherpa app to set as picked up. This can either be done here from the suggested route or from the job card in the jobs list. All active jobs are displayed in your job list. Tap the card to see all delivery details. Select the tab for specific pickup or delivery information. You can use the live chat feature in the top right to message the Sherpa support team if you are having any issues with picking up or delivering the job. Although, most of the time it's easiest to contact the sender or recipient of the job directly. To do this, tap the phone icon in the top bar and select who you would like to call. If you're having issues with a pickup, you would call the sender. If you're having issues with a delivery, try the recipient first. If you can't get through to them, give the sender a call to see if they can help you out. When delivering jobs, there are four possible scenarios that could eventuate. One, the recipient is available to accept the delivery. Two, 
the recipient is not available but authority to leave has been given. 3. The recipient is not available and no authority to leave has been given. Or 4. Alcohol delivery. You need to check for ID and intoxication. Best case scenario, the recipient is available, you can get a quick signature and keep moving. On each job, it is important to pay attention to the delivery tags. Sometimes a user will mark a job as fragile for items such as delicate cakes or flowers in vases. If this is the case, you need to check that the items have arrived in good condition before handing them over to the recipient. If they are damaged, you need to contact Sherpa support. Ask the recipient to use their finger to sign in the grey space. Select whether this is the specified recipient or someone accepting the delivery on their behalf. If the latter, you will need to enter the signee's name and their relationship to the specified recipient. If you have been given authority to leave, it will be shown as a green ATL tag at the bottom of the delivery details section. If someone is available, continue like before getting a signature. If no one is home, tap the no one available button. It is then up to you to determine whether or not it is safe to leave the item unattended. If you think not, tap the no button to determine next steps. If safe, tap yes and continue to take photo proof. When you are taking the photo, make sure it clearly conveys where the items have been left and add a note if necessary. If no authority to leave has been given, this will be shown as a red ATL tag at the bottom of the delivery details section. If no one is home, tap no one available and determine whether it would be safe to leave the delivery unattended. You'll then be prompted to call the sender to first ask for permission to leave the delivery unattended, otherwise ask permission to log a return delivery back to the store. If they give you permission to leave the delivery unattended, tap the green button to continue to take photo proof. Otherwise, tap the no ATL button, select the reason for return, then tap log return delivery now. The new return delivery will now appear in your jobs list. Continue delivering as per the suggested route. An alcohol delivery will be shown as a green check ID and alcohol tag at the bottom of the delivery details section. If no one is home, you must under no circumstances leave the delivery unattended. You will need to continue with the process of arranging a return delivery to the store. If someone is available at the delivery location, tap the Get Signature button. You then need to ask the recipient to show you their ID and go through the checklist. In order to continue getting a signature, the recipient or others present must not be showing signs of intoxication and the ID must match the recipient and show that they are over the age of 18. If they refuse to show you their ID, you suspect that they are underage or they appear to be intoxicated, you must politely refuse the delivery by stating, I apologize, however, under RSA law, I cannot leave these items with you. Please speak with client name to arrange a refund or re-delivery at a later date. The My Account tab is where you'll find your job history, Sherpa live chat and other important information update your account, password or payment details from here at any time. At the end of the day or when you want a break, tap the sleep mode button to turn off any notifications from our system. Then, when you are ready to hit the road again, simply tap anywhere on the screen to turn it back on. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. We look forward to seeing you out on the road. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us on 1300 137718 or email us at info at sherpa.net.au.